everybody, this is Alessandra. Welcome to my home, welcome to my kitchen. Tonight we're making an amazing uh, torta al rum, a rum cake. It's your traditional cake that we have in Italy, we have here, uh, used for birthdays. A lot of the Italian bakeries sell it. And I love to make it, and it's my mom's birthday, and uh, she's been in quarantine since March 8th. So I will see her tomorrow and bring her the cake. So let's get started. It's very simple. I know there's a lot of stuff on the counter, but we're going to go step by step, very slowly, and it's very, believe me, it's simple. Okay, let's get started with the pan di spagna. Pan di spagna is going to be the base sponge cake. Okay, and you need a good sponge cake because it's got to absorb all the uh, the rum with the sugar and the lemon and the water. So, uh, but let me just give you the ingredients. So right here I have six eggs. I took them out of the fridge. So for the ones that follow me, you know, I put them in the hot tap water, leave them about 10 minutes and your eggs are going to be room temperatures. Uh, so we have six eggs. We have two and a half cups of all purpose flour and one of a quarter cup of sugar, and that's going to be for the sponge cake. Now, right here, we're going to be making vanilla custard, vanilla lemon custard, and we're going to be making chocolate custard. So we're gonna make one custard and egg the cocoa. So I have right here, we're gonna do a cup and one tablespoon of all-purpose flour. I have one and two-thirds cup of sugar. Now. These measurements I usually have in Italian, and I will have the grams. If you have a scale, follow the grams, it will be a lot more precise. So again, and then the milk is going to be uh, four cups, a little bit more than four cups. So if you take your, your, your measuring cup and you have the two cup, uh, you're going to see you want 500 mLs, you want two of those. So you want one liter of whole milk. Then I have a um, vanilla pot that I'm gonna open up and I'll use some for here, some for the banya, which is what we're gonna use to wet the cake. And I have the zest of a lemon. I'm just gonna peel it and add, add it to the custard. And here I have some pure cacao, cocoa, uh, unrefined, very strong, and we'll make the chocolate cake, uh, the chocolate custard with that. So moving right around, this is what we're going to be using uh, to wet our cake. So I have one and one third cups of water and two thirds of a cup of granulated sugar. I'm gonna use the zest of a lemon, uh, half of the vanilla pod. Now the rum is really up to you how much you use. I'm gonna add two tablespoons and taste it and see if it's strong enough if I wanna add a little bit more. Okay, let's get started. Okay, I've opened my eggs. I usually place them in a plate just, so you get, just in case you get any eggshells in it or an egg is spoiled. Finding the spoiled eggs is not easy, but more the eggshells. So I'm gonna add the six eggs. Definitely, um, if you don't have a stand-up mixer, it's going to be a lot of work trying to get the eggs uh, whipped up. Now, keep in mind, the volume of the egg has to at least triple. You'll see, now I'm gonna add the sugar with the egg, start the mixer on high, and let it go at least 20 minutes. I'm gonna time it. It's 523 and I'll let you know. In the meantime, while you get that done, while that's whipping up, I have a nine inch spring cake pan and I've lined with parchment paper. And this is something I do. I like also to put the parchment paper on the side, almost if it, if it gives the cake guidance to rise and you'll see it'll be beautiful and high. I hope I didn't jinx myself. Okay, so uh, let me get this started. It's going to be very noisy. I'll, we'll check back in about five, six minutes. I'll get the oven on on 350. See you in a little bit. Sixteen minutes have passed. It looks perfect, okay? This is pretty much... The zabayone our grandmothers used to feed us for breakfast before going to school with a little bit of uh, marsala wine. You know, what was up with that? They would give us raw eggs and alcohol and we were fine. Times have changed uh, quite a bit. Okay, now I want to show you. See, scrive, it means it writes. That's exactly how you want it. There's a lot of air incorporated. 
Um, okay, let me move this to the sink so nobody licks it. Okay, I'm going to sift the flour, not at it all at one time, okay? I think I'm gonna do three, three parts. So the first, let's see, a little bit more. There it goes, okay? And this is the movement that you want. You want from bottom to top, from bottom to top. The uh, pan de España, the sponge cake, gets no leavening. It's all the air that was incorporated while you're beating the eggs. So gently just fold in, see the movement? From bottom to top, like this. Get the rest in. Now the third in. There it goes. Okay. Gently incorporate it. You see it's changing consistency, but you, it's still very airy and light. See all the bubbles? Okay. Now the last part, and then it's ready for the oven. Okay. Again, bottom to top. What a beautiful mixture. Look at that. Turn it this way. If you see a little bit of the flour that hasn't mixed, just mix it with the spatula right there. It's all in. Take a look. I'm just going to fix the smooth at the top. Ready for the oven? 350. I'm going to say at least 45 to 50 minutes and then we'll take a look. In a medium saucepan, eight egg yolks, okay? I don't think I mentioned the egg yolks before. I'm sorry, okay. And the sugar, and this is what we're gonna start doing. With the hand whisker, you wanna incorporate everything till it's nice, light, and fluffy. I'm gonna add the flour. Okay, what you wanna do now, so you don't wanna create flour lumps, um, you just drizzle, you measure out your 50 mLs, which is your two cups and a little bit uh, of uh, milk. You just add a little bit at a time. Let's say like a couple tablespoons at a time and you keep mixing. And what that does, it makes the cream very smooth, no lumps in it, and uh, just a very delicate, delicious cream. Perfect. See that? Exactly what you want. See that? A smooth. And beautiful okay now let's add the rest of the milk and fill up another 500 ml right there and add it in okay now this is the fun part the lemon zest make sure you write down how many lemon skins you put them you put in so then you're able to remove them out. It's always a funny thing. I put them in and I ask the kids, do you remember how many I put in? Nobody remembers. Nobody pays attention to me. So here it goes. I try to get them as large as possible so you're not fishing out small pieces. So here's a beautiful large one. And I'm going to do another one. Okay? So guys, two lemon skins remind me later. Now... The, um, the uh, vanilla pot, okay, just let it open. I'm not going to use the whole thing right now because I'm going to use a little bit for later. Just scrape the seeds from inside with the tip of your knife, like that. Look how many seeds. That's such delicious flavor. And then, you know what I do with the pods of the vanilla? I put in my canister where I keep my powdered sugar. I add the vanilla pods and it just becomes vanilla sugar. 
very inexpensive way to make vanilla sugar. So let me add these little dots of flavor. It's little specks of flavor. There it goes. Now, meet me by the stove and let's get this cooked. Okay. The flame on medium, you don't want it low, not high, and then we'll gradually uh, move the flame according to if it's thickening too fast. Now, the, the custard, the crema pasticcera, this is called, is an amazing cream. It's the basis to a lot of my desserts. Even my St. Joseph's Zeppelis, or when I make cream puffs, or uh, a coffee cake, a lot of the oh, crema chantilly when I mix it with the whipped cream. It's very important cake. I might do just a tutorial on the crema pasticcera because it's a recipe that you must have. Okay, so I'm just gonna keep stirring till it thickens up. Take a look what it looks like, and then I won't keep you on long. There it goes, see that? Keep stirring in one direction. That's what Nona used to tell me, and that's what I'm gonna tell you. Don't stop playing in it everywhere. One direction and keep stirring. It's thickening up beautifully, see that? Look at that. Just keep stirring, because you don't wanna catch the bottom right now. The heat is on medium. Just keep going. Thickening up. Okay, it's almost ready. Look at that. See that? I'm going to wait for a big bubble to form, and then I'm going to shut off the heat. See the big bubble. There it goes. Okay, it's ready. Half of the crema I'm gonna keep plain and the other half it's going to be chocolate. Okay, so there it goes. A little bit more. Now it is a little bit more than what you need. Let me fish out the lemon. It's a little bit more than what you need, but what happens is the kids love to eat it as a snack and um so I always like to make a little bit more. Can you cut the recipe in half? Absolutely, but I make it all because, like I said, I know my children that like to eat it, so I like to do that. Now I'm gonna add the two, let's start with one tablespoon of um, the cocoa powder. Just do it a little bit at a time and work it in. See that, it's changing color to rich chocolate. A little bit more. Okay, you know what? Um, I think one tablespoon was a lot. I would say two teaspoons should be enough here. See, I really don't measure anything, but it's not fair to give a recipe without the correct measurement. Can you add a little bit more? Absolutely. It's definitely gonna be more chocolatey. It's fabulous. All right, now, the next step, what you wanna do, I'm gonna show you with this one, because we already have it in the, um, in the, in the, the glass jar. Okay, I'm going to remove the lemon out of it. Here's the one, and here's the this one, and there was the second one right here. Okay, so that's that. Now I'm gonna take a plastic wrap, and I'm going to wrap, wrap right on the very, and of course it's the end of the roll, right? Right, because we are on the video. Okay, so I'm going to wrap what you want to do is you want to wrap that it touches the cream because you don't want any condensation to develop and make uh, the, the crema watery all right now it's ready to be placed in the fridge I'm gonna do the same thing with the chocolate one small saucepan let's put the a cup and a third of the water the sugar in I put in half of the pod of the um, vanilla the vanilla pot and I'm going to put the zest 
of a lemon. Now here you don't have to count or worry because we're just going to drain it later. Try to get as much as the skin without the white part. Okay. Let it come to a boil. And as soon as it boils and the sugar is melted, just shut it off and your syrup is ready and we'll add the rum. Let's drain it. Look already at the beautiful golden yellow color that it is. That's from all the lemon zest. Okay, now we're going to, what I'm going to do is add the two tablespoon of the rum. Perfect. Okay, give it a stir. I do want to taste it. Wow, really good. You know what? I'm going to put one more. If it's a rum cake, it's got to be rum. Nice. Perfect. Okay. Good. Let it cool. The cream is cooling. Let's get the cake out of the oven. Let's get the cake out. Okay. Absolutely ready. Take a look. Look at this. You see how high you got? like a sponge it's perfect now let's let it cool down I have some sliced almonds the oven is hot because we just finished cooking the cake so what I'm going to do is now toast the almonds I'm just going to put them in the oven and leave them be very careful not more than five minutes otherwise you'll burn everything so keep an eye on them let's look wow bellissimo beautiful 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 okay let me cut now another piece. Let you go cut, Betty. There goes another piece. And what I'm going to do is use the bottom part of the pan de España for the top layer. Okay. Okay, Betty, go stop. I'm cutting the top part just to level off the top and there's also another reason this is the best part to eat okay so I'm just going to level it off and then what I'll do is I'll use this as the bottom of the cake like this okay but what you want to do is put a little bit of the cream so it sticks to the bottom and you could work easily like that so that's what I'm gonna do so this is the first layer that goes down see that perfect now let's start wetting the um, the cake I'm sorry some of my words are just a, a direct translation of the Italian bagnamo to wet so let's just uh, get all this delicious liquid with the rum the bagna, it's called in Italian. And be generous. You, there's enough here for the cake. And um, the, the and you saw that the recipe is only sugar, flour, and eggs. So it's literally a sponge. It needs to have the liquid. It doesn't have any butter or, or milk or oil. So it needs that uh, moisture. We're done with that. Let's get the chocolate custard on. I'm gonna put the chocolate custard first. All right, don't worry if a little bit comes off to the side because then all the almonds go on the outside, so it's okay. All right, let's get this part now. Same process, I'm going to keep adding my rum simple syrup that I've made. The vanilla custard goes on. I'm going to wet this layer too from the bottom and also when I flip it to the top. Okay, here it goes on top. Okay, let me get all the crumbs off. 
Okay, let's wet the top too. So I'm just gonna be, I'm gonna go nice and slow because I don't want it to fall off to the side. Get the, cre the cream on the outside too. Because the cream on the outside, the custard cream on the outside is going to act as a um, sticking agent for the almonds. Going to put this in the fridge while I continue with the next step. Four tablespoons of powdered sugar and a pint of heavy whipping cream and we're going to make the whipped cream for the top. What I do with the whipping cream right before uh, I'm ready to use it, I put it in the freezer for 10 minutes just so that it gets nice and cold and it guarantees a good whip. The whipped cream looks ready. It's nice and fluffy and look, it's perfect. Okay, let's get the cake done. My videographer is very tired tonight, and so I need to hurry up. Let's get the almonds on the side. Just like this, just grab them and just place them on. They'll stick because we put the, the custard all around it, the crema pasticcera, so it'll be nice. on top but gently just okay remember I'm not a baker this is I just do it because I love to make people happy and this is for my mom tomorrow so I pretty much just put the whipped cream on top it doesn't look so pretty but just watch what happens now the only thing you need, I always have handy uh, these bags and a couple piping tips and everything becomes beautiful. So, let me just show you. I'm going to try to flatten this out as much as possible. Maybe with the spatula is better. Yes, absolutely. So much better. There you go. And now for the Alessandra, il tocco di Alessandra, like my mother would say, here it goes. We're gonna make little flowers on top. Did dad just take it up a couple notches? From homemade to bakery beautiful. Almost done with the rum cake. Isn't this beautiful? Is to decorate. Oh boy, can't wait to surprise her. She's gonna be just so happy. Okay. What I'm going to do, I'm gonna add some of the slivers of the almonds just to stay in theme the larger ones I want I'm gonna have the rest of them in my oatmeal tomorrow morning I better be healthy in the morning so I could eat the cake in the afternoon okay finito ecco qua this beautiful rum cake. I hope I don't drop it. Okay, look, take a look at that. Take a look at that. It looks fantastic. Buon compleanno alla mia mamma. Happy birthday to my wonderful mother. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe. Hit the bell button. A lot of recipes coming up. I hope you make my recipes and you're as happy as I am. 
um, taping them, or taping and making this food. Uh, thank you very much. Alla prossima, arrivederci. Ciao, ciao.